Hello everyone, it's Georgia here from Ramblings of Geo. I'm on the UK Scrap Addicts blog, YouTube and Instagram today to show you my Smashbook layout for this month's monochrome theme. So as you can see, I'm just trying to find a page to work in and I went towards the back of the book, decided to print my photos out on my Instax share printer um, just because it was easier and I really wanted to try out using small photos for my layout because I've got a couple of leaflets and things I wanted to add. So as you can see, here's my photos printing off from my phone. I had to sort of edit them a little bit, lighten them up just to make sure that they printed out nice and vibrant. I print three photos in total. There they are. So I gathered a collection of everything pink that I could find, um, mainly because the, as you can see there, they're the cake boxes. We were given them when we left the afternoon tea, which is what I'm scrapping about. Um, so I wanted to make everything match that theme. Now for monochrome, it doesn't have to be black and white. It could be a different shade of just one colour. So I went with pink just because it fit in with the leaflets and the cake boxes that I had. Um, it took me a little while to try and work out what I wanted to stick where. Just because when you're trying to work on one page, you just want to maximise the space in these books. took me a little while to sort of work around what I wanted where, but I got there in the end. Decided to stick the main leaflet down, um, and by cutting that cake box in half it gave me more space and a bit more, it gives me a pop of pink in the background, but still leaves me with a bit of space so I can journal and get everything else stuck in. So as you can see in the background, what I've um, so I've stuck down the cake box. I had to use double-sided tape in the end because my tape runner was not playing nicely. Um, struggled to peel it off a little bit, as you can see. Stuck my leaflet down, and what I didn't remember to do was leave a little bit up on the left hand side because I needed to tuck under the doily in the napkin so then I have to rip it all back off again so it's very annoying when you make these mistakes but we all do it and you just have to carry on so I tucked under the doily and the little bit of pink napkin which is what I'd kept from the event they were both clean so don't worry um, I have this little chipboard frame that is part of an old Amy Tangerine collection I just thought the pink went well with the layout so I stuck it over one of the Instax photos, used some wet glue, I think it's just a Martha Stewart, like a PVA type glue, craft glue. Of course it got blocked so I had to get a pin in it to unblock the nozzle. Had to go back over it with some just some Pritt stick just to help it stick down because it was not wanting to stay in place. Um, and then I've used the glue to sort of squirt it under the edges, which did keep it in place in the end. So it stuck nicely now after doing that. Had to hold it down for a little bit because it kept wanting to pop off the page. I've got this donut washi tape, which is a Doodle Bug Designs one. Um, I bought it when I was on holiday in Dubai and I got it from a scrapbook shop there. So I decided to stick that on because it went really well with this theme. I haven't had a chance to use it yet, but because of everything so pink on this page, it went really well. I tucked one of the photos in a little pocket, which was from Lardy Da. And then this other picture at the bottom right, I've stuck it down with the washi tape so that you can flip it over. I was going to stick that tag on the back of it, but I decided that it would look better if I used that as like a little title. So I'm just prepping my stamp there because I hadn't used that one before. So I'm just using a razor on it just to help give it so the ink clings to it. 
I've used a Lawn Fawn stamp in Peachy Keen. It's very pink though, I think, more so than peach. Did a little bit of journaling on the card, just sort of explained what the day was. Um, I just use Bic Intensity pens, I think they're like a 0 0.4. I'm not sure if they're acid free though, so I need to look into that because I read something that said that you really need to make sure your pens are acid free so they don't fade over time. I used a little bit of pink, sort of baker's twine there to loop through my tag, just to give it a bit more texture. The good thing about smash books is you can literally put anything and everything in them. Um, I try and make them as much texture and 3D as possible because I like to, that's what I like to look back on. So if you're doing this style of scrapbooking or if you're interested in it, don't be scared, just stick everything in exactly how you would like to see it. I just think it'd be more interesting to look back on. So I'm rummaging through, I've got some Amy Tangerine Hustle and Heart collection. Um, I found a little cup, like a coffee cup, that was from the ephemera pack and also there was some small faux suede bows, so I stuck a little pink one of them. I've got a big 12 by 12 sticker sheet, which I think was a... I um, can't remember what it was, I think it's pink fresh or something. Um, but I just used a ruler there to spell out um, Sarah is 30. Now, I was going to put Sarah turns 30, but I didn't have the right letters and there's no way of me being able to jig them around. So I stuck them over the washi tape at the top. I then have some Pink Fresh sequin stickers. So I use them to dot around the page and I've also got some Paper Chase like holographic cupcakes so I thought they'd come in handy. Did a little bit more journaling so I forgot to put something in. And then I decided to add a little bit more journaling about the day to stick it on the back of that photo. It's just something that if I want to look back on I can flip up and have a look. So that brings us to the end of my layout. Here you've got some close-up shots. Um, I thank you for watching. Check out the links below and don't forget to subscribe to see more from the UK Scrap Addicts creative team. I'll see you soon for the next theme. Thank you for watching. Bye!